Hello, beautiful goddesses. Hello and welcome to December, December 1st and holistic guidance and a brand new theme. I am so excited. So while you are popping on, while you're starting to join us, let me just make sure that everything is working well. And I'm also going to make sure that everything is coming through uh, on my computer as well. So give me one second. Looks like it's going really well. So, so many new things are happening. I'm really excited to share it with you. Give me one second here. So if you're jumping on live, say hello. And of course, if you're taking the replay, let me know. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're all set. Um, so I know that you are joining on the replay if you are doing that. So let's dive in. All right, so this weekend, I did uh, um, intuitive guidance with card pulls, and that was Saturday, I think, and it was incredibly powerful. And while we were pulling the cards, the new theme came rushing through, and I've committed 100% to it, and that is what we're going to do. So this month's theme, <laughs> that's quite the tongue twister, is around happiness. And I think it's the perfect month to do this because a lot of us are very busy and there's a lot of emotions sometimes that come up because of the busyness, because of the time, because of the family, because of the friends or because the lack of. Um, so there's, it's a whirlwind, right? So it's a perfect time to tap into happiness and to open up those pathways to make sure that they are strong. So our theme this entire month is creating happiness for the midlife um, woman leader. That's you and me. Um, and in parentheses, during the holidays, right? Because we want you to take these learnings and we're going to want you to spread them throughout the year. But this is when it's meant to happen. So if you're jumping on live, say hello so I can see you. And if you're catching the replay, let me know that you're catching the replay. So that is going to be our theme for this month. And we're going to start off today. And it's not a challenge, but it's a little bit like a fun play where it's a perfect time to align to this. So if for you, being happy is a priority, and if it's not, it should be, happiness is, is the easy way to open up and allow what you want and what you're setting your intentions to and wanting to manifest, this is a great way to let it flow in, right? Okay, so let me know if you're on board for that. So let me share a few things that are happening because it's really exciting. First, our new theme, and we're going to put in some specific things that we can do to build that up. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I see that. Perfect. Second thing. I'm so excited about this. The Intuitive Goddess Rising program is kicking off officially on December 7th. So that's next week, right after the new moon, right? Everything is planned and it is still on special. Actually, all my one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, is on special. I'm offering 25% off. So if you've been thinking that you want to work with me and it's your time and you want to go deeper and you've been enjoying everything that you've been getting here, but it's like just the surface and you want to go deeper, book a, um, a call with me and we'll chat and we'll see if there's something that aligns for you and that feels really yummy. So yeah, so that's the second thing that I'm very excited about. And then this really fun thing, this third thing I wanted to talk to you about, I have been invited to do some readings in a group and give a talk. So the, the, I'm going to be opening up 
the Akashic Field. Hi, Anne-Marie. It's so nice to see you. Mm, beautiful. Welcome. So I'll be opening up the Akashic Records, and I'm going to be doing some intuitive guidance and some card pulls in my beautiful friend's group, and her group is called Play in Purpose Collective. What a great name, right? And we're doing that today at 1.30 Eastern Time, so there'll be a replay. So even if you can't uh, join me live, maybe you want to join the group so that you know you'll be able to watch that replay. And let's see, can I do this really fast and really easily? I'm going to put the link right now ta -ta, in the comments we got it all right so i'm doing that today in play in purpose collective so that'll be fun i've never done that before gone into someone else's group and really tapped into their community and offered some um card pulls so if you want one <laughs> just join me there okay other thing that I mentioned, the talk. I am giving a talk next week, so on Monday, in another group. It is, the energy is so beautiful and aligned. This is because of happiness. Hint for this month's theme, right? This is what I want for you as well. The talk that I am giving in the group is four easy ways to release stress during the holidays and embody happiness. Yeah, it's got to be about happiness. And in this group, it is the social media marketing for the female entrepreneur. So if I'm going to pop that link as well into the group. So that one is happening on December 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and it is nothing that I've ever given in my group or on my page or anywhere. It's brand new. So if you are feeling, mm, I could use some of that, then make sure that you join that group and you join us. And I'm sure there's going to be a recording as well. Um, so uh, jot that down in your calendar. All right. So all those beautiful things are happening. Let us begin. All right. So. If you're just popping on, welcome to the Holistic Guidance for December, which is geared towards happiness for the midlife woman leader, healer, and light leader, right? So if you're anywhere in there, and most women are, even if they are leading just in their personal life or leading in their family or um, leading at their work or creating a brand new business or just want to upscale their business this is perfect absolutely perfect and what we do is we bring the mind body spirit connection and really up level the healing and the energy and the joy so you can more easily manifest what you really want so that is the ultimate goal right is this making sense? If this is making sense, let me see some hearts. Let me just pop on in the group because sometimes I don't see them on the phone. Give me some hearts and some thumbs up so I know that this is making sense to you and we're on the right path. I picked happiness because it was such a powerful connection on Saturday and it just resonated so well. And I think they're perfect. I love the love. Um, I think there's a lot that can be done and um yeah i want to share some specific examples so before i do that i know that we have some new women that are in the group now so welcome um i'll officially welcome you with a post and you can share really soon getting there getting there um so if you're new to me my name is isabel and i am a certified naturopath a holistic life coach and a master practitioner of NLP timeline therapy and I also work with the Akashic records so when I do something like this I always open up the Akashic records because like I'm ready I have notes and all that and all depending who is joining there's always some more stuff that is being channeled that I can't help but share because I'm just being a channel to help you connect 
with your higher purpose and the light so that you can really connect to your own codes. Um, so I always open them up even when it's just for a talk like this because it's a perfect way for all of us to connect. All right, so um, we're doing happiness and if you're on board, we're going to do it together and throughout this entire month i'm going to be doing stuff to really up level happiness not only for myself but for you ladies as well so i would love to know if you're on board if you're on board i want you to write it in the comments because there is a lot to be said for proclaiming something out loud. And that's why sometimes I put posts that say, if you want it, say Zen yes, um, share your thoughts, share your wins. These are all really powerful because the, it, when they stay inside, right, they're powerful, but they're only on one level. Whereas when you share them, when you go further and take an extra step, it becomes even more powerful. And today, I want to share one of those steps. I'm going to tell you, and we're going to do it together in this uh, next step. But I want to know if you're on board, even if you're catching the replay, I want to see it. So let me just check in. I see the 11. I see the 11. Perfect. Okay. And if you're feeling motivated, just right, I'm in. I can use more happiness. I know I can. We can always use more happiness, right? Like today, it's a huge day, right? I, I wanted to come on live to do a holistic guidance. Then I'm going into my friend Candace's group to give some card pulls and intuitive guidance there. And um, then I have another appointment this afternoon. And I really wanted to slow down and step into much joy and happiness. So I got up early. Good job, Henri. Proud of you, girl. Um, I got up early and I dropped off my son at school and then I went to the forest and I took a walk there and um, I hugged as many trees as I could and I leaned up as on as many trees as I could and I walked as long as I could because I really wanted to clear not only my mind but also my emotions and I wanted to clear my space so when I arrived this is what I had to offer for you for me and for my environment and this is really important so let me give you another example so last week I was, I, I had a coaching call with a client and she has been working really hard on her business and it's, it's happening now, right? It is coming into alignment and all this beautiful abundance and all this beautiful work and all this beautiful creativity is starting to shine through. And I was like, so happy for her. And then I could tell that the energy wasn't sinking up. And she shared that she's feeling so overwhelmed. And she was even crying. And um, um, she told me, I'm so tired and I'm so sad. I feel like my body is stressed out and I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this. And so, of course we did, we opened up the records and we did some work together and we did some tapping to release that part. And when she was done, she said, you need to share this with other women because I've been self-sabotaging so much and so often and for so long that if my story can inspire other women, you need to share it. So that, first of all, that's why I'm sharing it because she wanted me to share it. And I thought this was such a great reminder to me and to all of us that when we want to manifest something, when we want to create something, right, it is not just about visualizing. 
It is about our energy. It is about our words. It is about our thoughts. And it is about that frequency. Now, of course, since we're working one-on-one -on -one together, we've been doing the legwork behind to really up-level her health, right? Because our, our body is our vessel. It needs to be healthy. It needs to be strong so it can help us during this. And if, if she was bringing in all this stuff and her body wasn't able to sustain it, it would have just it would have spiraled down, right? But her body was there. It was more at an emotional level because she was peeling the layers. And this happens to us and it never stops happening because we're human beings and we evolve. That's the goal. And each time we're able to peel off a layer and tap in, like really step into the wellness, the happiness, even before it is physically manifested, when it shows up, we're aligned. We're not like, oh my God, there's so much of it, right? If you've already put those goals in, they're there. They're already there right? So let's say they're vibrating here. Now, all you need to do is sync up perfectly aligned to be able to tap into it. But you know, sometimes you're like this up and around, and then all of a sudden it goes, right? It just manifests so strongly. And because the other components, the other pillars might not quite be up to par, it can feel overwhelming. So what we want to do when that happens is do the clearing quickly. So, okay, taking back my hand example here. So you can go calmly and positively align to it. And one of the best ways to do that, to tap into, because when all your goals start showing up, you should be happy and feel it, right? So to be able to do that, one of the easiest ways is to step into gratitude. And no matter where you are in the spiral, so spiral upwards, right? No matter where you are on this scale, you can always create gratitude. You just need to create according to where you are. So if you're having a really shitty day and your energy is like, and the happiness is like, click, click, that's my cricket sound. I <laughs> can't find it. Then what you're going to want to do is step into a very general gratitude. Something like, oh, I'm so happy that I am in this home. Or if you don't have a home, you need to get even more general. It can be just something like, I am so happy that I have a group to connect to, that I feel seen, supported, and I come out of feeling more energized, right? Find something that makes you go, mm, yeah, I'm happy about that. <gasps> Did you hear the magic word? Happy. And when your heart opens, even if it just goes a little bit, the happiness will come rushing in. Okay, so this is what I want you to do right now. I want you, ugh, cold. That's okay. I'm still happy. That's okay. Okay, so what I want you to do is um, I want you to write in the comments something that you are super grateful for. It can be something super simple like your puppy. I'm <laughs> looking over at my puppy. It can be your puppy. It can be clients. It can be abundance. It can be health. It can be the power of being able to move your arms. It can be your family. It can be your work. It can be the sun. It can be um, your breakfast. It can be an herbal tea, even though it's cold, is filled with yummy plants, medicinal plants that I picked from my own gardens. 
I'm really grateful for that and the space to grow my medicinal plants. So it doesn't have to be huge. I want you to find something that you are so grateful for. So Anne-Marie says, let me just go here. It'll be so much easier for me to read. Okay. I am so happy for the cat on my lap now while listening to you. Okay. So I love that, Anne-Marie. It's perfect. Sometimes women will look so far and so deep to try and something to try to find something that they're grateful for that they lose connection. What we want is for you to look right here in this moment. What feels yummy? So, if you're on the replay, I want you to do the same thing right now. I want you to write what you are super grateful for. I am super grateful to have all of you in my life close or far i feel your connection i see you and i hold love and space and healing for you and i am so incredibly grateful that my path has led me here doing this right now mm, yes so that is mine now if you want to switch it up um during the week that's fine you can switch it up if not you're going to grab the one that you've written in the comments. And if you haven't written it in the comments, if you don't have a pen or um, if you don't, if you're not able to type it in, but you want to write it, write it on a piece of paper. But I encourage you to bring it in the physical realm by stating it by writing it by sharing it and it is even more powerful when you say it out loud because then you're going to want to come back to it and there's all that sacred energy cosmic energy around your gratitude doorway okay so if you haven't written it yet i'm really encouraging you to do that okay so let's use it to tap into happiness okay so we're going to do this together let's go ahead go ahead close your eyes and if for whatever reason you are driving um you can just listen along keeping your eyes open um but if you can just going ahead and closing your eyes and allowing yourself to feel this moment, feeling your feet on the ground, the chair or the bed under you, maybe the clothes on your back and the air against your skin and anything else that is enhancing this moment. And if you can, and you know you can, so go ahead and see yourself in this moment, feeling present and hear what is going on or the silence, or the purring, or the joy, or the talk, or the noise, or just the sound of your breath. And allow yourself to go inside, bringing that awareness into your heart space feeling the gratitude and allow yourself to repeat them mentally if you need to or to hear it or to see it or to smell it or to touch it allow yourself to be you and to connect to what is really truly making you happy in this moment. 
Allow these new codes to come in. Allow your heart to grow. Allow your breath to deepen. And allow this gratitude to spread from your heart to your throat, to your eyes, to the top of your head, and to spread down to your tummy, to your belly, to your seat. And just allow this energy to emanate in every direction, feeling the gratitude growing and feel its sensation. Maybe it's warm or not. And repeat mentally or out loud what you're grateful for. I am so grateful. And finish off that sentence. I am so grateful for you. And allow that happiness to connect to that gratitude. Breathing in. Feeling the happiness. Feeling the gratitude for the happiness. Wonderful. And when you feel it so strongly, I want you to keeping your eyes closed to either stretch up and say at the same time, yes, bringing your hands or hand to your heart. And then go ahead, bending your head down, connecting your chin to your chest, blinking your eyes open. And stretching your arms out again. Yes. Feeling all that joy and all that happiness. Mm. How is that feeling? Let me know how that feels. And I, I did this meditation specifically this way because I wanted you to bring in that happiness and that feeling. So this is what you're going to do this week. You're going to redo this every day, if you can, more than once a day. And you're just going to grow that beautiful heart of yours, grow the gratitude, grow the happiness. And we're pulling it in every time there is something that is making you happy, you add it to that space and you feel gratitude for it. Okay, are we on? Are you in it, if you're in it, I want to see some hearts. I want to see some thumbs ups. I want to say, I want to read. I'm in it. I'm doing it. I'm feeling it. Yippee. <laughs> Whatever resonates with you. I want you to grow that sensation so it becomes part of you. December is about bringing in the happy baby. This is what we're going to do. So the holidays are so yeah, malicious for you. No matter what is going on inside here is going to be perfectly aligned. Wonderful. I saw those thumbs ups. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So um, reminding you today at 1.30, if you want to join in for some intuitive guidance, and card pulls to join me in Candace's group. The link is there. And um, what else? What else? Yeah, there's a new moon coming in and a solar eclipse. Love that. A full moon right before Christmas in Gemini. Mm, yeah, lots of the stuff happening. So lots of reasons to tap into happiness. And my, all my one-on-one -on -one coaching programs are on special 25% with the kickoff of the Intuitive Goddess Rising program next Tuesday. Yeah. So if this is resonating and you want to join in and you want to know more, book a goddess alignment session. They're free. 
and we'll chat and we'll find out what your vision is and get you clarity and see if that is a good fit or if something else would be a good fit. In this Intuitive Goddess Rising program, it's a six month mm, deeply transformational program. You get some one-on-ones and you also get my VIP and a slew of other things. It's really about tapping into your vision, bringing in some healing, body healing, emotional healing, um, ancestral healing as well, making your body strong so it supports you. It's about really awakening to your deeper connection and soul mission. So if all this is resonating and you've been following me for a while and you're feeling pulled, book a call with me for free and we'll see what fits and aligns with you. Let me let me put my calendar link in the comments. Give me one sec so I can do that. There you go. Voila. And you can go ahead and book uh, a time with me. It'll be my pleasure. And if you don't find anything that that fits with your schedule, you can reach out to me directly. I'm super easy to find. And bring on that happiness. I'll see you in just a little bit. Bye for now.